All right, welcome. This is a quick tutorial to run you through um, on how to basically create a simple screencast. Screencasting basically captures your screen while you're talking. You could use it um, if you're demonstrating to students the internet, a website, a PowerPoint, a Word document, and any other, other type of program that you want to highlight. You basically just capture the screen and your voice. You could also add a video of yourself by um, attaching a camera to your uh, computer and, and getting that. I prefer not to do that as much because I don't want to watch myself age over the years. All right, some of my favorite ways of doing it. Uh, the easiest one by far um, that I found um, is called screencastomatic.com. Uh, one of my friends uh, over at Vernon Hills told me about that one. I was, at the time when he told me about um, that one, um, I was using number three. Um, Camtasia Studio. I paid a couple hundred dollars for it. If you want to make more complex videos and editing, add music, sound, and really get fancy, you're going to want to purchase something like Camtasia to do it. But if you just want to keep it simple and get the information out to the student, Screencast-O-Matic is, is definitely the easiest one um, so far that I've found. Um, and, and I'm going to just kind of walk you through that in this tutorial. All right, screencastomatic.com. Um, basically, um, you just go to the website. You create a free username and password, and then secondly, you I, I recommend you create a YouTube account. And so you just have to create a, a username and password there in YouTube. And I would obviously have it separate from your personal account if you have a personal account. So um, really, I only have a, a professional YouTube account. I do not have a personal one. Um, and so basically, all the videos that I make. Um, I, I just upload them to YouTube and then I share them with my students via YouTube. So once you have the YouTube account, then you basically just open up. Um, you go to screencastomatic.com, you log in, and then basically it's as simple as just you hit record screen, and then and then you're basically recording um, the screen. When you're done, you hit done at the bottom of the page, and then um, then it'll basically take you here. Um, it'll ask you, do you want to publish to Screencast-O-Matic? Do you want to publish to YouTube? Or do you want to publish to a video file? Uh, with me, I just post them all to YouTube. If it's a really good one, I might um, publish to a video file so I have that file. And then lastly, once you do publish to YouTube, it'll ask for some information. You put the name of your screencast in there. Um, and then at the bottom of the page, you'll ask for your um, YouTube, make sure um, you have your YouTube information, your username and password to kind of plug in here. And that's basically it. And, and then once it gets to YouTube and it uploads it to YouTube, you now have the link to YouTube and you share that with the students. It's really that simple. Um, where people kind of struggle a little bit with is obviously you're, you're in a room by yourself talking to a computer. It takes time to get good at it. Um, I'm still working hard getting good at talking to a computer in a room. Um, right now it's, um, you know, it's, it's a Saturday night. Uh, my kids are asleep. I'm in my um, den talking to a laptop at 9 o'clock at night. Um, so it just takes time to kind of get good with the skill of doing that. But once you practice, make a couple uh, screencasts, you will get better um, over time. And you, you definitely will improve. Let me kind of just show you here. Let me go out to the website real quick. So here's screen, screencast. So basically, here it is. You just go to the website, um, and then you hit start recording, and it's free. Um, the free version, you only could it only saves one video at a time. If you want to um, pay 15 bucks a year, uh, it's 30 bucks I think right now for three years, and basically you could um, you know start a new recording while it's uploading the prior one, and it'll save I think somewhere around uh, eight hours of, of videos for you. I like to keep all videos under eight minutes for my students. Um, that way they can keep their attention. And during the school year, my students will have to make screencasts for me, and they will, will definitely be using this tutorial in order to do that. All right, so happy um, screencasting to everyone out there, and look forward to seeing um, everyone's work.